Does anyone else skip through her snaps and just, I don't know. Already on the direction. Uh, so number one, this has already started. Like our planet is in a state of rebirth, really changed and then in a lower frequency. And then the ones that are in the fifth dimension. Okay, so the golden era, the a lot of you guys watching this video are actually volunteers here on Earth. You, you are in a state of amnesia where you don't remember. A warrior, like, there's other um, galactic souls. Catherine McBroom is getting called out again for the stuff she's going on about over on her Snapchat. From her perspective on religion, the universe, some fifth dimension, and much more, you guys. I mean, we all know Catherine has been super active on Snapchat over the last few years as opposed to YouTube more so, and she's really been opening up about a spiritual journey she's been going through. Catherine slightly spoke about her spiritual journey on her YouTube channel with Austin in the past, but she hasn't been going into detail like she has been over on her Snapchat stories, that's for sure. I mean, you guys just saw how much she was posting about religion alone in just the beginning of the video, and that wasn't even all of it. Now, Catherine did mention not too long ago that she was interested in starting a YouTube channel where she tried to talk about topics that wouldn't really fall under the umbrella of their vlogging channel, but she never really ended up pursuing that nor launching her own channel. I'm gonna be completely honest, the reason why I want to start this channel is because I have so much to say and that I can't say those things and I can't talk about these topics on this channel because it just, it really just wouldn't make any sense, like we're being completely honest with you guys. A lot of people that follow Catherine on her Snapchat are from the Ace Family channel and now they're complaining about having to skip all her Snapchats, which I mean, she is posting a lot for sure, but they're complaining about having to skip all the way through just to get to see what she's actually doing throughout her day-to-day -day life and they just don't want to hear her ramble about spirituality all the time and that's why she's getting a lot of comments with people complaining but it seems like this is Catherine's new niche and something that she really wants to pursue as she has mentioned that these type of topics are dear to her heart you guys may remember Catherine opening up about a story in her past life over on the Ace Family channel where she explained how she ended up finding out that she was a mermaid at two people and they're on the shore and I'm looking at them. He goes, okay, okay well, what are you thinking? And I go, well, I want to be there with them. Like, I want to go, I want to go there with them. I want to hang out with them, but I'm here. I'm in the water. He goes, okay, well, what's happening now? And I go, well, now I'm going in the water and, I, and I'm like, I think I'm drowning actually. And he goes, oh, okay, are you, well, what's happening now? And I go, well, actually, like, I can breathe. I can breathe underwater. He's like, okay, and then I go, wow, this is so insane, and, and I'm thinking it in my head, but my my, con my higher self-conscious is speaking for me, but I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, am I a freaking mermaid right now? This is insane. So I go and I tell Derek, who was doing it for me, I go, well, I'm a mermaid, and I go, I live here. There was also this clip that was going viral. You guys may remember during the time Catherine was just opening up about her awakening slash spiritual journey, where she was crying on her mom's arms, begging her to hold her mom's ashes, because she felt it was right for her. And people all over the comments were just like, what the heck is going on? I love you. So, I just, I want you to hold your mom's ashes because I feel like it's something that you, your heart is craving, your, your, I, I feel like, like it's something you need to like release and, it's, I know it has not been real for you for, for 33 years it has, and none of it has been real but I, I want you to understand that she's in, she's in your heart and that this is, this is just stardust and this is, but, but it, it literally is here for a reason that it got in my hands for a reason and so now I want you to hold them and I want you to just like I want you to release this she also recently talked about being able to relive her younger self. I go back to the 10 year old me and I'm running down my neighborhood and I'm leaving school and I'm running and I literally, I look down and I, I could see my 10 year old little hands and my little legs and I could smell the air and I could see the apartments and the people walking by and I'm literally back in my 10 year old body and I'm 32. So for me to go back all those years was 
crazy and it's weird because I feel like that's one of the only members. Now things got more serious with the situation around last year when Catherine started promoting the idea of shrooms to her followers on Snapchat. Yes, and I'm not talking about these mushrooms. Someone had asked her, have you ever tried mushrooms before and what was your experience? She said, of course, my first time was in 2013. The mushrooms told me to move to Los Angeles and I did a couple months later. She added, mushrooms are a tool to help you gain access Access to information you already have stored within your pill gland. People were obviously infuriated with the idea that she was influencing this over on her Snapchat, and when questioned why she was promoting this and influencing this harmful idea, she responded saying, Promoting isn't the correct word, more like being vulnerable and sharing what I know is to be truth, something most of the world is lacking in today's time. Most people are promoting hate speech, bullying, violence, lab-created medicine, liquor, etc., all things that are truly poison. Most people are conditioned by the matrix. It's time to reverse it. I'm also a 31-year-old woman with a lot of life experience and still haven't shared my story to the world yet. The irony. Everything I share is extremely authentic to me. Well, now more clips of Catherine speaking on certain topics is going viral yet again, and it's definitely ruffled some feathers. Some people are upset with the things she's promoting with regards to serious topics like religion, health, and more, but others are just annoyed of being inundated with her speaking on these topics and just going on and on when they say they just followed her to see her personal life on Snapchat and not ramble about these topics all the time. Some people are also annoyed because it seems like she's coming off as forcing her beliefs onto her followers. Last week, someone asked Catherine about Jesus and she started to speak to her followers about religion as well as the fifth dimension. We'll get into the comments, but here's what she had to say about Jesus and religion. Uh, I wish I could, I wish I could sit here and tell you the stories that I have about Jesus. Um, but yes, of course, everything is connected. Jesus is king. We are all one. We are one species. Everything, even in religion, I mean, think about it. It's there to teach us one lesson, which is love. Love, love, love. Um, love is the strongest force to exist, and there is nothing stronger than that. And I think that if whatever it is that you believe in, if it's love, and if it's unity, and oneness, and kindness and connection and union then you are on the right path whatever it is that you believe in as long as it's on that path then you are in the correct path and that you are ascending in the ways that you should um, and that your soul picked to ascend and everyone's journey is completely different there is not one journey that is exactly the same um, but practice what you and here's what people had to say the only truth or stories about Jesus is in the Bible Which I doubt she's ever picked up and read she sounds so dumb She's definitely confused one person even poking fun at what she's saying bringing up that she's the same girl Who was convinced she was a mermaid at one point in time But it wasn't until Catherine started talking about the fifth dimension where people just really started to get annoyed She starts off by encouraging Encouraging her Snapchat subscribers to envision they're in some fifth dimension. And people are just like, is this Catherine in her cult era? Catherine says that our planet is in a state of rebirth and that since 2012, we've been living in a fifth dimension. She also predicts the future and yeah, just take a listen for yourself. All right, so I want to share some of the things that are going to be different in the fifth dimension, which like I said, it's not far from now. So I just want you to kind of start to envision it and you know a lot of the things i may talk about may be triggering to some of you guys maybe some of you guys aren't ready to hear these things but then again like at the same time it's like it's important to start talking about it because we're already on the direction of the fifth dimension and a lot of us have actually crossed over already and so um yeah i just want to share some of the things that are going to be different so number one this has already started as of 2012 and so all of these changes have already started um 
we are in a state our planet is in a state of rebirth right now um there is an end going on but the good thing is is that by 2032 things will have officially changed and then on into 2050 and beyond things are going to be completely different and everyone will be in the fifth dimension and if you're not in the fifth dimension then you will and then she talks about the golden era galactic souls and she distinguishes between those that will be a part of the low vibrational energy and the high vibrational energy in a lower frequency reality and you will start to see it's like it's really hard to explain into human words but basically there'll be like a split and then the ones that are in the fifth dimension will live a different reality than the ones that don't okay so the golden era the, the era that we're approaching in the fifth dimension where our descendants our children our children's children and beyond will live um so a lot of you guys watching this video are actually volunteers here on earth you volunteered here to raise earth's vibration and consciousness and a lot of you are in a state of amnesia where you don't remember your life beyond this life physical reality in this third dimension which the third dimension is like if you're here you're a warrior like there's other um, galactic souls and galactic beings um, from different planets and different timelines that literally look up to us and think like oh my gosh like that the fact that they even went to earth is crazy because it's such a low vibration here on earth that the third di uh, third dimension is very very low and so there's a shift going on we're in a state of rebirth and a lot of you guys like i said you don't remember and so she says we are all one and we are all connected and this is what many people have been saying in the comment section anyways guys this has been the update on Catherine and this new endeavor that she seems to be taking over on her snapchat and her social media i definitely want to know what you guys think about this new route that Catherine is taking with her content as well as what she is promoting do you see anything wrong with it definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.